The facts on Skooma. Skooma does bad things to your heart and lungs. People who smoke Skooma can get sick more often because it hurts your body's power to fight disease. Skooma gives you bad breath and stained teeth. It can make you overeat. It gives some people problems with memory. Others get sudden panic attacks. Skooma affects each person's mind and body differently. There's no way to predict what it might do to you. This is Joe Joman, the future High King of Skyrim. Unfortunately, after suffering immense stress from a five-figure bounty in Hofingar, Joe turned to a life of crime and drugs. After a wake-up call from his family, he decided it was finally time to get clean, and headed out into the Falkreath Woods for a retreat and detox. To break his addiction, he would have to go without Skuma for four days straight. It's alright, Joe. You're not the first person to go through these struggles. <laughs> My neighbor's getting awful close today. Alright, Joe. It's time to do some meditation in the garden. Now I guess we're just gonna wait 24 hours. If you don't like what you did, use your imagination to change it. Put yourself in the picture. Fine, Mom. Everything's fine. Are you sure? Erase! Erase! I'm here. I'm here. Find me. Find me. Find me. 24 hour meditation in the garden. You've developed severe skooma withdrawal. That's okay. Overall, you feel ruined. Yeah, guys, Joe needs some thoughts and prayers right now. <laughs> Many of his symptoms have reached a severe stage as well. Also, didn't Joe get vampirism? What? No. We got this disease called Sanguinar Vampirus. That's what the doctor said. I mean, we're not like a vampire or anything. All right, Joe. Time for another 24-hour meditation session. Keep looking till you find me. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Find me. 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 Severely exhausted again. Get some vegetables in you, Joe. Just want to hop in here real quick to remind you to subscribe if you haven't already, and to follow my Twitch where we film these live. Thanks. Now back to Jobius. Oh, we <laughs> The diseases are developing rapidly. Well, that seemed good. Joe, are you okay? That's probably part of the normal recovery, uh... Oh! Actually, all of your, uh, all of your diseases are cured, despite the crippling skooma withdrawal. See, I told you, all you needed was some, some water, some veggies, and some good rest. Although most of Joe's symptoms mysteriously vanished, he still had two days of withdrawals left to conquer. Oh, you got some sensitivity to, <laughs> to light that you've developed, Joe. Look at that, the garden's ready. Do some gardening, it'll take your mind off of the crippling withdrawals. Joe's doing a great job going cold turkey on the skooma right now. Actually, all of the weird diseases that he contracted have seemed to have cleared up. Just from a good night's rest and nothing else. He has developed some kind of permanent damage to his eyes though. But, it'll be alright. <gasps> Joe, are you okay? Let's get, let's get you inside, buddy. He's still a little wobbly. <laughs> okay. Come on, buddy. Easy does it. Let's get you let's get you inside, bro. That <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. I know you took a lot of damage to your joints, muscles, and ligaments. On the third day, Joe couldn't walk more than ten feet without collapsing. Despite this, he cooked up another batch of potions to clear his head. Due to his aggressive withdrawals, this batch of potions turned out to be by far the worst he had ever made. Miko Wait, I need you to hold some more product. 39 high quality potions. Oh. Wait, actually? <laughs> Wait, these are 39 incredibly low quality potions. I Because we're so debuffed. <laughs> All the diseases are making our hands shaky. We, we totally screwed the batch. Well, you're almost through the, the skooma withdrawals. We'll just, we'll do another 24 hour meditation period. 
I'm here to help you. Find me. Keep looking till you find me. I'm here. I'm here. Find me. Find me. Find me. I'm here. I'm here. Find me. Find me. You developed crippling skooma withdrawal. Like we're actually on the verge of dying from our basic needs. Yeah, we're actually... <laughs> the game is telling me that we're dying. Joe, it's okay. Like I said, all you need... Hey, he feels comfortable. <laughs> all you need is some vegetables. Some clean water and some veggies. Maybe some bread. <laughs> It'll buff right out. You'll be fine. Still exhausted. But that's okay. I'm sh... Oh, he's still fine. He's still just a little dizzy. He'll be okay. <laughs> Maybe cure the dying. Like I said, nothing a little rest can't fix. By the fourth day, Joe's withdrawals were finally weakening. However, the damage on his body was building up, and he had picked up another odd symptom. No matter how much food and water he consumed, he was still hungry and thirsty. So, we decided to head into town for more sustenance. Isn't he technically all- <laughs> Catch up! <laughs> uh, Alright. Joe slipped off of ketchup and broke his neck. Joe was still having some difficulties staying upright, but we slowly crawled our way into Riverwood, literally starving and dying. All this to become Thane of Solitude. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how they made this quest so difficult. It's weird how they made you, uh... Like, have to build up a skooma operation and then get addicted to skooma and overcome it. It's weird how they put that in the game like that. Hello, everyone. You to talk to me that way. I'm not feeling the best. Could I please have a key to the bath? Room. Talk to Delphine. Excuse me, gentlemen. What do you need, ah, see? They stopped fighting the moment I set foot in front of them. This is a place where we can get some respect. Oh, Feindal's ready to take a bath with me, too. Feindal, I'm gonna need some health. Can you give me a sponge bath? My my body is sore and aching. I can't reach my back. Seems that we're not um our food our hunger isn't being sated quite like normal. Very interesting. I wonder why that is. Ugh. If only there was some way to sate this hunger that's just growing inside of Joe. Hmm. Delphine, you got you got something on your on your neck, Delphine. Oh, okay, that was actually on your ankle. Oh shit. I'm sorry! No, Feindal, stop! <laughs> okay, we gotta go. We gotta go back to rehab. We're still not quite over our withdrawals. It's part of the addiction. Um, we just can't quite be trusted around people yet. It's okay, Joe. It happens to everybody. <gasps> Since Joe was still suffering from bizarre symptoms, he turned to another powerful aspect of rehab. Religion. Since all of this was a result of worshipping Sanguine, the Daedric Prince of Hedonism and Debauchery, Joe decided it was time to talk to a priest and reunite with his faith in Kinnereth. Right now, it's all about you, Joe. We'll get you a little nap. And then I think it might be time to take Joe to an actual doctor. You developed moderate skooma withdrawal. Hmm. Hey, you know what? We're also getting better. I, I think we're less close to dying now. We'll go talk to our general practitioner in White Run. Mild skooma withdrawal. You're really getting there, Joe. And we're simply ruined now instead of dying. I hope they do walk-ins at 2.30 a.m. Hello, ma'am. Um, please cure me of my diseases. Everything hurts. Of course. Joe, I, your eyes are still red. I, I don't think it worked. Well, if the doctor can't help you, then it's time to pray. <laughs> Since Joe has already been abandoned by Kinnereth twice before, he needed to really prove his loyalty if he wanted any chance of divine intervention. So, we talked to the priestess and asked if there was anything we could do to deepen our bond with Sky Mommy. Welcome, child. Danica, I want to thank you for curing me of my horrendous skooma withdrawals. Is there anything I can help to <laughs> with the temple? The Gilder Green, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. A big dead tree isn't very inspiring if you're coming to worship the divine of wind and rains. Is there any way to revive the tree? Trees like this never really die. They only slumber. 
Oh, so we just need to wake it up. Bought it like an alarm clock or something? I've thought about that. It's called Nettlebane. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. I could speak with them. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. Without ever looking us in the eye, our doctor sent us on a mission from God to steal a legendary alarm clock from a bird person to wake up a dead tree. This seemed perfectly logical to Joe, so we made our way towards Orphan's Rock. Ah, the beauty of nature. <laughs> well done, tree creatures. You've slain a foul beast. As a fellow worshiper of Kinnereth, I'll be passing through here now. Nature is on Joe's side today. Hold on, catch up. Daddy's got to take care of some business over here. Oh, it's a hag. That's rather rude. Catch up. Yep. <laughs> Seems like a nice lady. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Oh, my God. Wait, ma'am. <laughs> Holy shit, they're firing artillery. Miko. Oh, well, I'm out of arrows. Yeah, don't mind me, guys. I'm just going to do some casual looting. All right, fine. I'll go talk to her. Oh, good work, Miko. I don't know if I have the mental strength to look a hag raven in the eyes. Oh, Nettlebane. That looks nice. Well, that was easy. First catch up. <gasps> Why did they put wooden spikes on the on the forest floor there? Uan hag raven fight later. All right. Make sure we don't step in the death pit this time. Come on, catch up. Before I find any more wooden spikes to fall on in the forest. But as it turns out, you don't even need punji sticks to have a dangerous fall in the forest. Oh, this is... This is a steep angle here. Nice and easy, catch up. Nice and easy. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ketchup suffered a flat tire, putting Joe's fifth mount out of commission. Against our will, we were forced to walk back to Whiterun on foot. That wasn't my fault. That was Ketchup's fault. As much as I hate to say it, he should have uh, he should have listened to my advice and watched his step more. Joe is blaming the victim. <sighs> you know, it's only because it was his fault, though. And I want to make it clear how annoying it was that Ketchup did that to himself, because one of Joe's lingering side effects was no stamina regeneration in sunlight, so Joe literally walked all the way to Whiterun. He was basically asking for it. Alright, well, you know what? That might be a bit far. I mean, it was a mistake, you know? I just... I told him to be careful, and he didn't listen to me, and he slipped and fell. That really... I can't be held responsible for that, but... It is sad, you know, a sad, unavoidable accident. I wonder if this guy's selling any replacement horses. Hello, Skolvar. <laughs> How old are your horses? The horse I got for sale is seven years old. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Alfsiger. Or just Alf, for short. Uh, yeah, I would, I would like to buy the seven-year-old Queen Alfsiger. You've got a deal. It's the one with the saddle. Alright then. Everybody meet Queen Alfsiger, or Allie for short. <laughs> it won't make it a week. Don't say that. <laughs> Go on, don't say that. So, have you got the metal bane back from those filthy hag ravens yet? I don't think it was that gross, but yeah. Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. What? After helping our doctor out, we bumped into Joe's old college buddy, Maurice, who was always very spiritual. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. You're welcome to join me, friend. Let us visit the Holy Land of Kinnereth together. He invited us on a pilgrimage to a site of great importance to Kinnereth. After a short trip through Brown Town, we arrived at the site. Hmm. This does look lovely. You know what, as a sanctuary of Kinnereth, we should pray. <laughs> we cannot pray to Kinnereth here. Just this, the path here is a little overgrown. We have to do a little bit of, uh, 
a little bit of pruning, you know. Maurice, you coming? I had no idea you were a man of violence. What exactly what? are your intentions in this blessed place? <laughs> Maurice, Maurice. You think that ill <laughs> that ill of me? A man of violence. Maurice, I've never heard a man in my life. I just have a condition. It's rare. That's abominable. Barbaric. Follow me. I think I can convince the tree to help us. <laughs> Follow Maurice. Okay, where are we going then? <laughs> wow. You're incredible with directions, Maurice, I must say. Am I, do I have to teleport three feet too when I'm following you, or is that just was that for flavor? After leading us through the treacherous ten-foot unobstructed walk, Maurice then led us in sacred prayer to Kinnereth in an attempt to cure Joe. Find me. I'm always there. You think I'm just in that fancy machine? Think again. I'm part of you. I'm always with you because I'm inside you. I'm here. Find me. Find me. Find me. Just use this, your mind, and this. Uh, well, Maurice, what are you going to do now? You want to come back to my place? I believe I'll stay here and bask in your sweetest sense. Well, thank you for your time, Maurice. After getting spiritual with Maurice and kind of getting hit on? Your sweetest sense. Joe could feel his kin erection grow substantially like thick wood. However, she sadly seemed either unwilling or unable to cure Joe's mysterious symptoms. Oh, I forgot to get Maurice's number. That's too bad. To make matters worse, it seemed word was getting around that Joe might be a vampire? Joe, having already been the subject of damaging slander before, decided he would do something bold to beat these ridiculous allegations. You can't contain me with a novice Loch Nazim. To be clear, still not a vampire though. That was not vampire activity. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Honestly, I think to defeat these vampire allegations, there's only one thing we can really do. If somebody was really a vampire. Would they willingly join the Dawn Guard? So, after doing some completely legal business in Whiterun and kissing his daughter goodbye... Good night, dear. Joe headed out to clear his name. They're gonna attack on sight. Why would they attack a new recruit fresh out of, uh... Not being a vampire. <laughs> we will beat the Jovius allegations. Ah, Kinrith has sent her valiant companions to guide us. Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. Isran, Excuse me. Is dead. So who are you? <laughs> I hope that wasn't an important conversation. Um, I'm here to join the Dawn Guard. Got a fire in your belly to kill vampires, eh? That I do. What can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilance were poking around in. What was it? Dim Hollow. Sure thing, Ezron. Without asking any questions whatsoever, the Dawn Guard hired us on, handed Joe a gun, and sent him on his way. Upon arriving at the location, Jobius proudly announced, It's Joeing time! and proceeded to Joe all over the place, penetrating countless vampires, skeletons, and stray dogs with his new hefty tool. And Jobius didn't stop Joeing until he reached the vampire artifact at the end of the crypt. Hmm. Button. Oh! Yo, are you okay? I hope you got your tetanus shot when you went to the doctor. This puzzle is far too easy for Joe's massive brain. Oh, okay, had me confused for a second. I'm rising! By the grace of Kinnereth! Praise be! Uh, hello ma'am. Who sent you here? I'm here on Dawn Guard business to kill all vampires. Is he working for my father? I don't know who your father is. <laughs> I'm surprised another vampire hasn't heard of him. What? I'm not a vampire. Are you a vampire? I smelled you almost before my eyes were open. The Dawn Guard will want me to kill you. Don't think that'll keep them from turning on you eventually. 
They'll figure out what you are. Ma'am, I'm a recovering skooma addict. My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. Help me get back to my family's home. After being insulted and mislabeled by this strange woman, we decided to help her. And take her back to our home for the time being. It's good Look, to Papa, see you again. I made a new friend. What? A fox? Could I keep him? Please? Um, alright. You have to take care of him, though, Lucia. I see Serana and Mule are immediately getting acquainted. They just sat down and she crossed her arms. Mule, I can explain. Let me talk to Lucia. Lucia, you can keep the fox. It sounds like it has asthma. You okay, little guy? Lucia, I think you should take that thing to the vet. Well, Mule. Do you need anything, my love? Um, I can explain. This is just a um, a woman that I found in a cave, and she's also a, a vampire. And I'm I've been hired to kill her, so she's gonna be staying in our home for a day or so. Oh, they seem like they're good friends. Serana, over here is where my my daughter Lucia sleeps. She has she has delicious blood. 